Hey yo, what's going on guys, we're here and today we are going to be doing ourselves a bit of a hypercar war. We're going to be doing the Bugatti Veyron against the Maserati MC12. Now, obviously, the Maserati MC12 is nowhere to be seen in this category. Why not? It's because it's classified under a supercar. Now, well, you can debate this all you want. Technically, I'm going to consider this a hypercar because it is incredibly quick. And, I'll, and I'll, the drag race will show you in a second. We're going to be having ourselves a little bit of a race. It's going to be real close, I'm going to tell you that. But yeah, this Bugatti she or Veyron, I was going to say Chiron, man. God dang it. Yeah, I keep messing those up. But yeah, uh, this Bugatti Veyron against the MC12, which by the way, isn't over there because uh, let me explain. Desync happens and I don't want to have a lagging car on the other end and it just not be very fun because then you have to guess the winner so it's a time drag race once i say go a timer will pop up on the screen and i will go all the way down to the end of the road and then um once i hit the end of the road that that will be the time for that car then we come back and do the exact same thing for the next car so that's pretty much how the drag race works now um why don't we kind of just get into it now before we do i want you guys to know a few things first things first my name is hypodu car views car things like stuff. if you guys do like this video hit that like button subscribe and hit that bell for notification every time i upload a new video second thing is i got a roblox group with roblox merch i got a discord group you can join and i got some social you can follow all the links in the description below i have a little uh, beacon link at the, in the description you can click and all of them pop up it's very fancy my sister made it very cool very cool anyways why don't we get into this little drag race here so Get into our first hypercar of the day, the Bugatti Chiron, the 2011 Bugatti Chiron, which is, is somewhere here. It's it's in here, it's in here, it's in here. Um, If you see it, that's there, 2011 Super Sport. It's a Super Sport, yep. Don't forget the Super Sport, because um, someone's going to say that's the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport. You know, in the comments, and then it's going to be fun. Anyways, why don't we rev this car up and do ourselves a top speed test. So in 3, 2, 1, go. Off the line, obviously, it takes a little bit to get going, but then once we do, uh, as Bugattis do, they go way too quickly for their own good. Except it is for their own good because that's what they're made for, and this thing looks like an egg, and ha like a, a cut in half egg. Anyways, back to automatic so I don't mess anything up. Let's turn traction control back on. It's not going to really do much if I do, but you know, it's there. 265, 266, and we're still climbing. 270, 270, and you know, as Bugattis do, almost at 300 miles an hour. Don't ask me the kilometers. We passed the line there. That is the line we need to pass. We passed it 279 miles an hour. That's fairly quick. So well, that's the time for this car is obviously up on the screen. What we're doing now is we're going to drive back to the end of the street and we're going to do the exact same test with the MC12. So I'll see you guys when we get back there. All right, now that we have the MC12 here, why don't we get this car and go into the drag race and see how this thing does. So um, I modified this one quite a bit since the last video and I just jumped out of it. Um, The last video was like over a year ago when it actually released. And let me tell you, it was it was slow until I geared it, and then I realized it went pretty quick. It went Bugatti Veyron quick, and so why don't we do ourselves a little bit of a test here? So in three, two, one, go! Off the line, we're going 60, 70, and the acceleration is mad quick, way quicker than the Bugatti Sh Veyron. No, I almost slipped up there. The Veyron, but we are going 240, 250. We are we might actually be like. 10 times quicker than the Bugatti Veyron. The Bugatti Veyron also has upgrades. So, um, two very mad fast cars. Very, very, very mad fast. Yeah, we might actually have beaten the, uh, 280, passing the line. We were one mile an hour quicker. However, the acceleration on this thing was insane off the line. So, I'm gonna say the MC12 may have won, but both of the times are up on the screen, so the winner is, you know, there, and I can't really see it because, um, I'm I'm bad and, and I have to edit the video and sadly, but we're gonna head back to the dealership really quickly if you guys want to know the gearings for any of these cars if you guys are curious. Actually, I don't even know if any of you have the MC12. It's a very, very old car, but the Bugatti Veyron. Hey, hey, if you guys want a gearing for that, stick around. Um pull up. I do need to get a taco from whatever this place is. Um I'm gonna call it um block talk because it's tacos but blocky because it's Roblox. Um I would say um the, the real company name, but I'm not sponsored. They should totally sponsor me, dog. I talk about their burritos almost all the time to anybody. They say, where should we go eat? Um, the T TB burrito. <laughs> Tuberculosis burrito. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, anyways. The gearing for this thing is 3.44, and the forced induction is turbocharging. Everything else is just stage 3 for the Bugatti Vero. We're not going to show the MC12. Actually, I'll just show it for you guys. Just in case any of you may have it, and just kind of like want to know i don't know why i hopped out of it but like i'm assuming all of you wanted to see the uh, bugatti baron first let's go mc12 real quick let's get that back out 
and I actually clowned on this car a lot for not looking very good. Honestly, it's kind of growing to me. It's kind of growing on me. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Gearing is 2.776. We're going to go all the way back to engine stage 3 engine. We have the turbocharging as well. So it's pretty much the same thing as the Bugatti Veyron. So, uh, yeah, that was a drag race. The winner was obviously declared today, and I'm going to assume it may have been this thing, which is very long and very quick, apparently. Anyways, um, that's what she said. Have a great day, guys. Oh, <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.